I join his group. This is a true story. I join his group and I tell him, I'm like, bro, you don't have your legendary. You don't have your, your conduits. You don't have uh, your covenant. Like you need to get those. I literally get in discord with him. Yeah. Okay. I get in discord with him and I link him a guide how to get all of these things unlocked. And I tell him exactly what he needs to do to level them up. And he says, okay, reluctantly. And then he literally quits. <laughs> Instead of doing all of those things, he literally just stops playing the game. Why new players are quitting World of Warcraft. Here we go. Wonder how you don't get burnt out of this game. Playing alts has been really, really fun for me. I mix it up, man. Sometimes I focus on TBC. Sometimes I focus on retail. I've been playing lots of different classes. I just give myself like little projects in the game. Yeah, I mean, alts are what keep the game fresh. 100%. Here's another thing that's really, really important. Yeah. Uh, I wish the developers understood this. Well, maybe they do understand it. Maybe they don't. I, I don't know. They probably I don't, don't know who needs to hear it, but it's not just an alt problem. Like, you have people that want to return to the game and try the expansion, and you, they can't. Because it's totally unrealistic, the stuff they need to do to be able to play the game. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's too many barriers to entry. It's like back in Burning, back in my day, I tell you something, tell you what. You used to just hit level 70, and then you go into the raid! And then maybe you gotta do a little attunement, maybe you gotta do a little quest, and you're done. That's it. Now, it's like you've gotta do fucking Torghast. You've gotta do the Corthia shit. You've gotta, like, for, I mean, Vinruki is mainly a PvPer, right? So, like, you've gotta farm out, like, all of this fucking honor. That's why we're doing RBGs, is to get all the honor. Holy fuck, bro, like, this shit takes forever! It's a lot. It's time gated. Yeah, it's like, man, it's just too much fucking. There are too many things that you have to do that are in the way of you just playing the game on an optimized level because nobody wants to play unoptimized. Nobody wants to play with a handicap. Nobody wants to play like, oh, I don't have my second legendary. Oh, I don't have my sockets or whatever. People want to immediately have that shit. And it's not about like immediately having it. It's about having a path to getting it that's not so long that it just makes people give up. Because if you make the path so long, there's a lot of people that just think to themselves, oh, that's going to take too long. I don't, I don't want to do that. It's the same as like, remember back in the day, did any of you guys ever have the experience where you had like a friend that wanted to play WoW and they were like, oh man, but like, isn't the level cap like 90 or 100 or something? That's going to take forever to get to. So I don't want to do it. Like, yeah, I, I had, yeah, I had a lot of people that, that would tell me that. And I'm like, no, actually, it's the opposite. It's faster than whenever you had to get to 60. And it's like, you just wouldn't expect that. So it's the, um, the psychology behind it. When, if someone's a WoW player and they want to, like, try out Mythic Plus and try out raiding and try out <laughs> PvP, the amount of shit they have to do to get to that point is actually dumb. Yeah. Like, I, I apologize, but it's, it's stupid. Yeah. Even if they keep adding alt yep. ketchup... There needs to just be ketchup because some people don't have alts. Some people, it's just their main character. And if it's just your main character, you're totally screwed. Uh, so that's my, that's my, yeah, it's like, uh, this is the same way I feel with like the shards of domination. I don't care about them. Uh, they're going to get removed next patch. So like, why do I even want to spend a second of my time doing it? There's no reason. But they don't have to do any of it. What, what's the YouTuber got into Mythic Plus in weeks of a fresh character? That feels very reasonable. The reason why he got into it within weeks of being a fresh character is because he probably played the game nonstop and he knew everything about the game and how to approach it. Like he knew exactly what to do beforehand. It's like a, a, a guy that beats Dark Souls in a half hour is not a good indicator of how hard the game is. He says, I had, a, I had an experience. Here's, here's an experience that I had. This alone should be a video. Like I should just make a video and send this to the developers. Okay, here we go. Yeah. You ready? This is what happened. I'm gonna okay, tell, here we go. Let me tell you guys a little story. Let's hear it. All right, we're, we might actually turn this into a YouTube video or something like that, okay? Here's a little story <laughs> for you guys, okay? <laughs> Look at that. And this is like, this is a situation I feel like the developers should be made aware of because people want to play the game, but they can't, okay? And obviously saying that they can't is hyperbole, but you have to understand it's like, this is what I, this is the analogy I like to use. The analogy I like to use is, it's like someone says, oh man, I want to go uh, for a hike. You know what I mean? It's like their first hike they've ever done in their whole life. Okay. And you drop them off at the base of Mount Everest. Okay? You drop them off at the base of Mount Everest. It's just, they're yeah. going to give up before they even try. 
You know what I mean? And that's kind of how it is in WoW right now. And well, I the problem is like they uh, they they add in extra things that you have to do, and then they never make it easier later on to do them. So like uh, farming out all of your honor gear, farming out all of your conquest gear. What they should do is they should look at the amount of time that it takes to go from zero to sixty. Not like the level, but like having no gear to having like the optimum gear and look at what the time that it takes is like how many hours and then base things off of that because i think if you really went back and you looked at how much time it takes your character to become fully optimized right now in shadowlands like how much time would you say yeah how much time would you guys say how many hours do you think it would take yeah a hundred hours uh, 200 let's 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 just go with a hundred hours all right how much time did it take in wad to get all your pvp gear like minus like those stupid weird trinkets and ashran uh it would take you like yeah maybe 20 to 40 hours i'd say like and it's the same thing with mists of pandaria uh, 20 to 40 hours of farming and that's really what the difference is that's the real difference is the time is that you are more than doubling the amount of time that somebody has to invest into the game. And it's actually very simple. Like if they want to, this is what I would do if I was a, uh, if I was making the game right now. Uh, they're addressing a system, uh, adding systems that are suffocating the average player. Well, no, exactly. Uh, the issue is mandatory tasks are ultimately obsolete content, which will be immediately replaced. I imagine this. Imagine if you bought PVP gear and its PvP scaling went automatically up to the highest level, and its PvE scaling is what you could upgrade. And, and that way, if you wanted to immediately get into PvP, all you had to do was buy a set of armor, and you didn't have to upgrade it. But if you wanted to make it relevant in PvE as well, you can upgrade it with honor instead. So, uh, yeah, I, I can't really imagine why that would be a bad idea. Uh, I really don't know. Yeah, that would be fine. Yeah, just fixed it. Yeah, I think that would be a pretty good solution. Because, like, yeah, the PvP scaling would be the exact same. Everything would be fine. Why well, just make the gear actually fun to get rather than a necessary step to play in the game? Because people are always going to view it as a necessary step to play in the game. It's just that you're, you're looking for something that doesn't exist. Wouldn't that shorten playtime? No. And this is what the problem is. Is that it's exactly with w what Vinruki is saying with his analogy is that if you put somebody, let's say hiking all the way up a Mount Everest takes a week. Well, if somebody just turns around as soon as they look up at the mountain, then there's no play time at all. And I think there's a lot of people that look up at the mountain of time that you've got to spend and they don't even try. They don't even try because they know how much time it's going to take. And that's what the issue is, but nobody does that. How many of you guys, let me ask you something. If it was easier for you to level, well, let me ask you, how many of you back in uh, patch 8.3 would have loved to play alts with corruptions that were maxed out, but you didn't because of how much time it took? Me? And that is my point. That is my fucking point. Is that you get to the point where you are actually minimizing playtime down to zero because you're trying to maximize it beyond what somebody wants to invest their time into. I know that they added a lot of catch-up stuff for alts, but it's not just alts you have to be concerned with. It, I think you should be even more players. concerned with getting new players into the yeah. game or people that haven't tried Shadowlands that want to play Shadowlands, okay? So this, this is a real story. I, I shit you not, okay? I was doing LFG. And I saw a rep paladin that was like 1,200. And I was like, I'm going to help this guy get his 1,400. So somebody said in chat, they said, uh, you think that company's trying to maximize playtime, they're trying to maximize revenue. You're not smart. You're not smart for trying to make this, uh, this surface level uh, analysis. It's just such a surface level silly analysis. Because you maximize revenue by getting people to play the game. If somebody is not playing the game... They are not in the customer pool for people that will buy a store mount. They are not in the customer pool for people that are paying a subscription. You need to have people invested in the game and playing the game in order for them to potentially give you money. Pepega MBA? Yeah, it's just... it. 
these comments that it's like people think that they're smart for saying stuff like this is just so annoying to me. You're going to surface level analysis, you're saying an obvious thing, which might not be true. No, it, it is. It, it is true. It, it is, it, it is just obviously true that if there are more people playing the game, there is a large, do you want to go fish in a lake with 10 fish or a thousand? Like, I mean, it, you've, you don't need to have a, a fucking MBA to understand this. It's common fucking sense. So he can upgrade his gear. So I join his group. We play a bunch of games. He goes up some rating. He gets to like 1500 or something like that. And then I noticed he doesn't have a legendary. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't have a legendary? That's yeah. crazy. And then I realized he didn't have a covenant. Okay, so he had no legendary. Someone mm -hmm. says it depends on the fish in the lake. Guys, y'all are so like... I understand that you might make comments like this and people thought it was smart in like middle school or like high school or something like that, but that's not smart to say that. Everybody knows what we're talking about. There's no, there's no implication that they're different fish. Like it's just, you just come up with this thing to try to sound smart. Like, oh, I'm smart because I have, you know, I'm drawing this distinction that's not part of the conversation. Like arguing semantics like it's just it's so boring it's so boring and tedious and just completely aside from the point no covenant and then he started linking me his conduits okay my conduits he started linking me his conduits and ask how he could put them in his gear so he's trying to socket his conduits into his gear because he didn't understand how any of it worked now yeah. this guy i assume bought a level 60 boost Smart okay. guy. This guy bought a level 60 boost, and what he did was just play BGs. So he just played a bunch yeah. of BGs. I actually have his armory right here. His name is Holy Dickens, okay? So you guys can look at his gear, okay? He's got his... <laughs> okay. He grinded all of his honor gear. This is what he did. He yep. grinded all of his honor gear, okay? He's right here. And Casual then after he Andy. got full honor gear, he no started getting raided either. arena. And obviously, he's got no legendary, he's got yep. no covenant, he's got no conduits, he's got no chance. So he's hard stuck 1200, grinding out the conquest wins, he has like 300 games played. And then I join his group, I join his group, this is a true story, I join his group, we play, we get 1500, and I tell him, I'm like, bro, you don't have your, you don't have your legendary, you don't have your, your conduits, you don't have uh, your, your covenant, like you need to get those. I literally get in discord with him. Yeah. Okay, I get in Discord with him, and I link him a guide. All right? I link him a guide on how to get all of these things unlocked, and I tell him exactly what he needs to do to level them up. And he says, okay, reluctantly. And then he literally quits. <laughs> Instead of doing all of those things, he literally just stops playing the game. He literally quit that day. Yep. I'm not joking. Is. Like, this is a true story. This is someone like, who wanted uh -uh, to PvP. Bruh. Uh -uh. This is someone who wanted to play. <laughs> nope. He grinded all of his honor gear. Fuck he that. He grinded a bunch of his conquest gear. And then when I told him all the other stuff he needed to do, I was like, oh yeah, you gotta do your Torghast to get your Give legendary. Second, yeah. You gotta do the world bosses. Here's your guide. Get your renown up. Grind your conduits. He's... Fuck that. Yeah. And he quit. Fuck that, exactly. So, this is a true story of a real player. And I'm sure he's not the first person, okay? So, I'm just putting that out there. People want to play the game. But it's way too jarring. Okay, so I, I don't know what needs to happen, but there's a problem. There's a clear yeah. problem. And uh, it, it definitely needs to be fixed. Because WoW is not accessible right now to someone returning to the game. Period. Yeah, not accessible is a really good way to say it. It's sad he started that the guy, he just... He sees, he's like, yeah, so you've got to do your conduits. And um, uh, it's like, you've got to plan this out. It's like, how many people saw the content in 9.2 about getting flying in Xerath Mortis, and they said the same fucking thing. They said, oh, bro, what, dude? Oh, bro. Oh, not again. <laughs> not again. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's too many fucking things, man. It is too many little fucking things you got to do and it's just you're not doing anybody any favors by adding this shit into the game you're not helping anybody out it's just that the problem is that 
new systems get added and old systems don't get removed. PoE struggling with this as well? Yeah, no, PoE has the same problem in a lot of ways. And that's why they decide they're like, oh, this is going to go core. This isn't. Synthesis didn't go core. Metamorphosis did. And guess what? Metamorphosis is a whole fucking lot simpler than Synthesis was. Metamorphosis, uh, so you kill all the guys, and then you make the all the guys that are a big guy, you kill the big guy. <laughs> Boom, there it is. It, it's pretty fucking simple. And the problem is that you don't have... Uh, you, you don't remove things enough. And you don't take things out of the rotation enough and you just add in more and more systems and that's really what the problem is ggg actually recognized their position no like chris wilson grinding gear games they fucking know this is a problem that's why they're making poe2 that's why they have so many different changes in poe2 it's because they know what's an issue they're fully aware of it wow it seems like they don't know it i wish they did how can we get the devs to understand this we'll talk about it that's the best thing that we can do I'm the type of player that likes to play multiple characters depending on what I feel for the week. Was well, this video described exactly why I've given up on Mythic Plus and PvP? Yeah. It's like I, d I will never farm a secondary system twice. It's that simple. I will never level up my renown two times. I will never level up my reputation two times because there's no reason for it. I already did it. It's, it's that simple. I, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to waste my time on it. It's not fun to do. And even if it is fun to do, I already did it. And so why would I want to do it again? It's crazy. You remember back whenever Ian said that people wanted to farm out Renown? And they enjoyed farming like uh, uh, these like bullshit systems? Like, how can you be so stupid to think that? Like, it, it's just, it's obviously not true. Like, it's just, it's so fucking obviously not true. And like, I don't want to hear, oh, they've got the data. They know what the data is. If they knew what the fucking data was and they were able to act on it in an intelligent way, they wouldn't have been hemorrhaging subscribers for 10 years and then have to stop showing how many subs they have because it was so fucking embarrassing. Obviously, they don't know what they're doing. Because if they did, it wouldn't happen. It's crazy, man. Absolutely fucking crazy. I hope they can fix this. I really do. I think that what they should do for 9.2 is they should make the PvP item level for any of the gear. They should make it if you get combatant or you get even unranked. You buy the gear and it maxes out your PvP eye level and it doesn't max out the PvE eye level. That's just... It, it, it makes sense. It seems like it's a... In my mind, this seems like a perfect solution. Yeah, I, I don't know. Is, is there any reason why not to do that? Yeah, isn't this Legion scaling and people hated it? No, because you buy the pieces of gear that you earn. And as you buy the pieces of gear, your character gets more powerful that you have autonomy over it. And you can also choose what pieces of gear you buy. So you can get like one with haste or mastery or whatever. For rated PvP only? Well, for all PvP. Yeah. Uh, if you're bad, you should be punished? Yeah, sure. If that's the way you think, fine. But that's... that. If... If that's the case, it's not about being bad. A lot of people aren't bad. They just don't want to farm out a bullshit system on an alt. Like, I would love to play... I would love to play some of my alts here. And I just don't have the option to do that. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't have the option to do any of these other characters. Like, why would I go over and play this character if I have to farm it out and do a bunch of other stuff? It's insane, man. Fuck that. If you're bad and punished for weak PvP character, then you'll never play PvP. Yeah, exactly. Like, there should be a point where, like, yeah, in random BGs, like, you... you and you're always going to stomp on nubs. You are always going to stomp on nubs. It doesn't matter. It, even if they have the same gear as you. And also, they're not going to because they're going to be farming out the gear in the process. And so you're still going to win in random BGs. It doesn't even matter. Uh, I don't want to win with skill. I want to win with the gear that I grinded. Well, no, it's like I have no problem with people that get really good gear and they win BGs because they have really good gear. That's fine, but there needs to be a ceiling on that. And the ceiling on that is too high right now. Like, and also for rated PvP, especially at a high level, everybody has the same gear. Like, that's generally what happens. And so I, I just, I, I think that's what they should do. They should make it to where the PvP eye level starts at cap and the item upgrades increase the PvE item level, and that way people can get into PvP a lot faster without having to farm out 100,000 honor. Uh, that's just not a, uh, 
uh, not a fun experience. And also, speaking of farming out 100,000 honor, let's start doing it ourselves.